What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight. Okay, we're coming back to Disciple. Yes, indeed. Disciple fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from John C. And John C. wanted to see me react to this song by Disciple called Dear X, You Don't Own Me. You don't own me! Take it easy. Nobody does. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Disciple. Surprise, surprise. And the video has 40,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Disciple, dear ex, you don't own me. Pseudo video. Suck it to him. The hell is a pseudo video? What? Beats the hell out of me. What is that? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Whatever. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Dear pay, no, oh, it's been a long time. Remember when you were holding me tight? I would stay away. Do they have a filter going through on the guitars and bass and drums? Because the guitar, bass, and drums sound really thin in the mix. Like the vocals are way fuller sounding than the instrumentation does. I'm hoping there's that that's a filter. Why in the world would you put a filter? On your instrumentation to make it sound thinner? I don't know. That's weird to me. Especially this early in the game. Unless they're okay, there is a possibility. We're we're gonna we're gonna put that filter on, make them sound thin, and then like when we get to like the pre-chorus or the second chorus, all this or the pre or the second verse, we're gonna take off the filter and it's just gonna explode in fullness. That's a possibility. Maybe. That would make okay, now that I think about it, that would actually make sense. Let's hope that's the case. Ooh, but man, that's a uh, real interesting sound they got going right there. Dear pain, no, oh, it's been a long time. Remember when you were holding me tight? I would stay awake with you all night. Dear shame, I was safe in your Yep, okay. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Okay, I just felt like, seriously, 50 tons of weight just come off my shoulders. I was scared. I was terrified that they were going to stay like that the whole song. I was like, oh, no. No, no, no. Please don't put me in this position. 
because I will absolutely tear you to shreds. So glad they didn't do that. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you folks, you don't know how much relief I just felt right there. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Go. off skillet straight up shamelessly ripping off skillet <laughs> with that vocal work the vocal layering and the call and response happening in the in the chorus they are straight up ripping off skillet and they're doing it with absolutely zero apologies i love it i absolutely love it <laughs> Oh, it's so good. I absolutely love that. Look, here's the deal, folks. I know people are crying heresy right now. For, fine, call heresy on me. I don't care. Look at my name. But uh, look, here's the deal. Lemmy Killmeister said it best. Do you get mad if, if a band copies your style? No. Good luck to them. Maybe they'll do something we can copy later. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that at all. Because like, I, like I've always said, we're all thieves. We all steal from each other. And like we've stolen from other bands, and those same bands, a year or two later, turn around and steal something from us. And I, it, look, it's understood. It's absolutely understood. Now, if it's blatant plagiarism, like if you're gonna take a song and steal the song, note for note, beat for beat, tone for tone, that's a different story, okay? But when you steal an idea or a theory or you steal a riff from another band and you make it your own and you put your own spin on it, guys, I'm sorry, I got no problem with that. I I think it sounds fine. I got no problem with it. I'm digging the tune. If I'm being honest with you guys, 100% honest, this so far has been like one of the most interesting songs I've heard from Disciple. One of the most uh, energetic, not, not from a speed standpoint, but from a fullness standpoint, from an energy standpoint, uh, from a drive standpoint, it's one of the best sounding songs I've heard from Disciple. I'm digging this tune. I, I don't know if I would go as far as to say it's my new favorite, but I might, I might make that statement by the time we're done, I might very well make that statement. I'm enjoying the heck out of this song. I really am. I'm digging it. I'm digging everything about it. The feel, the energy, the drive, all there. The growth, even with that intro, like I, I like the intro scared the pants off of me. But you know, literally, I'm literally sitting here with no pants on right now. Uh, it literally scared the pants off me. But you know what? When it kicked in, it all made sense. So I got no issue with it at all. I'm digging the tune. I'm having a lot of fun listening to this. Is it the most impressive song I've ever heard? No, but it, it still sounds good and feels good. I'll take it. Let's keep going here.
straight up ripped off uh, skillet. I love it. I love everything about it. John Cooper right now is going, you owe me money. Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my royalty check? <laughs> oh, man. I I enjoyed that. That was fun. That was a fun, fun listen. Um, Probably the most fun I've had listening to a Disciple song. If I'm being honest, I think, I think this might have been the most fun I've had listening to a Disciple song. All right, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Disciple with Dear X, You Don't Own Me. This was a request from John C. <laughs> uh, no, let's just, no, 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 save it, save it, save it. Let's just get to the score. Let's get to the score. On a scale of 1 to 10... I'm going to give that a 7.7. .7. Yep, 7.7. .7. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, before we go any further, 7.7, .7, what does that mean? Well, a 7.7 .7 would translate to a really good scale rating, okay? It would translate to four to five stars, and it would translate to a B plus letter grade. So we got 7.7, .7, which equals a really good scale rating, which equals four to five stars, which equals a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come up to this score? <laughs> so glad you asked. This was such a blatant, <laughs> blatant rip off of Skillet. It's frightening. Uh, now look, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. It wasn't pure plagiarism. It wasn't that. It wasn't a direct copy. It wasn't like they took a Skillet song note for note, beat for beat, word for word, and took it and made it theirs and claimed ownership. No, 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 no. It wasn't plagiarism, but it was absolutely a clear cut. We're gonna take some ideas from Skillet that they've done in the past. And this was this was absolutely blatant. Uh, the chorus just said it all. <laughs> uh, the usage of strings in the beginning and the intro and on the outro, yeah, clearly a blatant rip off. Uh, the, the, the usage of build in the verse into the second verse, it, 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 yeah, clearly a, a rip off of Skillet. I mean, look, here's the thing though. Is that necessarily a bad thing? No, it's not. You're, you're paying homage to your heroes. You're, you're paying homage to what's worked in the past for other bands. And like I have said in the past, I even said it during the course of the action, we're all thieves. Every single musician, every single band out there where all three, well, all these, nobody, and I mean nobody, is original. Everybody has borrowed something from someone at some point in time. It just so happened that with this song, this is it. This is this is the most blatant uh, rip off of Skillet I've ever heard. Uh, but here's the thing: they made it work for them. They absolutely did. It was interesting to listen to. It was fun to listen to. And part of the fun, and I know this is gonna sound weird. This is gonna sound mean-spirited, and, and to some extent, some people might even say this is a little sadistic on my part. Part of the fun of listening to this was listening for the blatant rip-offs. <laughs> the usage of the, the vocal harmonies, the call and responses in the, in, the, in the choruses, the string usages at the beginning and end. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> at the end of the day though, it's fun. It, it was part of that was fun for me. Um, did they do anything wrong? No. Here's the thing. Was it a blatant skillet ripoff? Absolutely it was. And I, I, I'll bet you anything, John Cooper right now is sitting back in his chair at home, you know, just looking at this song going, mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, there, there's going to be a receipt on this one for sure. But, uh, you know... <laughs> Then again, maybe John Cooper had a hand in, in engineering this song and, and producing the song. I, I know he's been involved with them in the past. Maybe he actually is the one who sat there and put his stamp of approval on it and said, yeah, take it, please. Take, rip us off. We don't care. You know, it's no, it's no skin off our teeth. Go ahead and do it. it. It's very possible that it might have happened. But in any case, the song as a whole, I think it's a really good song. It sounded good. The chordal progression made sense. It felt good. The pacing on the song felt good. The energy and the drive on the song felt good. Um, 
really good in fact i mean the instrumentation sounded once we got rid of the filter <laughs> the instrumentation actually kicked in the instrumentation kicked in and everything got full yeah it made perfect sense um no i i think it's a really good song i enjoyed listening to this and like i said i think this is the most fun i've had listening to a disciple song on the channel ever is it my new favorite by them maybe i mean i i don't know if it's my new top dog it, okay here's the thing if it's not the top song it's number two guarantee you it, it's it's number one or number two i don't know i'll have to kind of go back and listen it goes back to the first song i heard from disciple i i really dug that too um more than any other song i've heard from disciple up until now i don't know i'll have to, I'll have to go back and reevaluate but like I said, I'll, I'll put it in top two, no problem. I have no hesitation saying that either. The song sounded good, it felt good, from start to finish, uh, melodies, the counter melodies, the harmonies, they all made sense. Um, and all the instrumentation sounded really nice to boot. So that's how I'm coming up with a really good score of 7.7. .7. I feel good about that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 7.7, .7, which is a really good scale of rating, four to five stars, and a B plus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.